Yeah, welcome to my channel again. This is my full in-field review of the Locus Kinetic Goalkeeper Gloves. I was fortunate enough to win these gloves from a uh, or on a competi competition round by GoalkeeperTalk.com in conjunction with Locus, and um, I was put in touch with James Clark from Locus and have spoken to him several times since. Um, but yeah, when I won a competition, he basically just said, "Look, Jack, pick a pair of gloves that you like the look of." I chose these because I thought uh, they looked the best and just because they had quite a bit um, they had a bit more of a mesh backhand whereas the other gloves that I did like I can't remember the name of them specifically had a more of a latex backhand so yeah getting into the features of the glove these feature a 5mm super grip roll finger palm um, as you see obviously in the beginning here I'm just trying the gloves on they obviously roll finger and they have a extended wrist um, sorry they have an extended palm which is stitched directly onto the wrist bandage which in a couple of videos I've seen people haven't liked that but I'm quite a big fan of it to be honest um, even though the wrist strap does cover some of the latex palm I just you know I'm, I'm never going to complain about um, there being more latex on the pair of gloves that I have you know sort of more latex in key areas and I'm just gonna I quite like that and I'm also quite a fan of extended palms um, but yeah this uh, this like I said it stitched directly onto the bandage so it fits nicely it doesn't you know it doesn't interfere with how you strap the glove up um, as you can see these gloves are a roll finger um, these gloves in the video have been worn um, in about six games one training session on grass which you'll see like some footage of at the end which is a particularly muddy day and twice on 3G every um, game that I've worn these on has been on grass as well and they have generally they've been on good pitches but they've been in poor conditions so these have been generally wet rainy conditions and um, there's been a couple of games where it's been dry but it's not been anything like, hasn't been like sunny or anything like that in um, England because it's generally raining and crap weather but um, yeah again in some footage of me wearing the gloves on 3G or well, 4G so there we talk about more the features of the gloves these gloves come with um, grip control technology um, this is obviously worded from Locus's website embedded in every glove giving you the confidence to take immediate control of any ball in flight not going to lie, not 100% sure what that means uh, impact control technology which distributes the impact of the ball throughout the glove truly means the glove has the perfect balance between comfort and flexibility um, again I'm not too sure what these mean uh, there aren't a whole lot of sort of gimmicks and features in this glove and I'll be honest I prefer that these gloves they literally um, do what they have to do the 5mm super grip palm is one of the best latex palms I've um, worn in my adult uh, well, I've ever had basically um, the palm like I said it's 5 millimeters, and you'd think it you'd lose a little bit of feel for the ball which when in fact that's not the case um, the feel for the ball remains so you do get a good uh, feel for the ball when you catch it and when you're tipping it away around the post or um, just generally handling a ball so you don't lose any of that important feel which I know with a certain um, goalkeepers is very important and in certain glove cuts you do get a little bit more feel for the ball in particular with a negative cut but I'm a big fan of the roll finger just because you get the most latex ball in contact and um, in wet and windy and rainy conditions I feel like a roll finger is the best glove to wear that's obviously just my personal opinion um, the wrist strap is their 8 centimeter banded wrist strap which only has one velcro fastening which you saw as, as you saw at the beginning of the video the strap uh, wraps around your wrist once and just fastens there nicely um, no complaints about the strap whatsoever at all so it's only a bonus I didn't really notice it to be honest which is a is a huge um, thing for me because I'm quite particular and quite fussy as I imagine a lot of keepers are or can be with their gloves uh, fastening correctly around their wrist and you like a good I like a good nice um, secure fastening around my wrist um, talk about other features of the glove the, the thumb on this glove is sort of segmented away from the backhand just so, so you've got like a little bit of, um, of a mesh break at the base of the thumb just to allow for a bit more flexibility and um, movement, independent movement of the thumb so the thumb isn't often you can find with thumb, uh, latex thumbs where the latex stretches across the base of the thumb straight onto the backhand it can be a little bit stiff or feel like it's a bit restricted in its movement but this isn't the case at all with these gloves um, also on the backhand on the ring finger the middle finger and the pinky finger the latex is ribbed it's not a deep rib so it's not um, you know it's not like a, it's not like a 
bulky uh, ribs on the back end. It's just you know small ribs, small grooves. I'm gonna say I'm gonna guess about two mil. Just do a um, for pump and protection, whatever. Um, there's also a mesh flowing up throughout the back end, just to aid flexibility and keep your hands warm in cut in sort of cold conditions, wet conditions. So I didn't notice my hands getting particularly cold whatsoever. I did be honest, I did feel like they're quite well ventilated, but um, I'll be honest, I don't feel that too much in any pair of gloves that I have. Um, the Super Grip Palm, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it already, which is amazing. Uh, one of the best palms that I've used in a long time, like I said, throughout my career. Um, I have no complaints with this palm whatsoever. It's The durability has been amazing. Like, uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, those gloves are the ones that I've, they're not brand new, they've been worn plenty of times. And, um, they're still in like really good condition. The only thing I have noticed is that they have gone slightly pink. Uh, and this is just due to um, the glove, the latex being in its purest form in these gloves. So, um, and I have read that when you don't store them properly. So I think I've kept them in their glove bag for too long. Um, they have gone a little bit pink. But I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different from what I usually do. Um, obviously, I've included some footage of me running around <laughs> trying to play in golf. I um, hope you like the video, please like and subscribe, uh, any questions or comments please leave them down below and I'll leave a link to their website. Cheers, thanks for watching.